Glenbrook South High School students mourning the tragic death of a classmate. He died in a violent crash that split his car in half. And WGN's Julian Cruz is live in Glenview right now with more. Julian. Ray and Mike, a heart-wrenching scene. Classmates and friends visiting the crash site here on the 1200 block of West Lake Avenue in Glenview. The Glenbrook South High School community utterly devastated by this tragic incident. And then this guy comes up flying behind me. Motorist Nathan Clark says he thought the driver of a Ford Mustang would rear-end him last night. He sped around me, um, and as soon as he got in front of me, he turned off his lights. Floored it. He was probably going about 90 whenever he sped in front of me, if I had to guess. The Mustang appearing to T-bone a Mercedes being driven by Marco Nikitic. This is a terrible reminder to all of us about how important it is to be careful. Denise Powers and many others heartbroken, leaving flowers at the crash site on the 1200 block of East Lake Avenue in Glenview. The community and loved ones coming together to console one another at the site where Marco Nikitic lost his life. In a letter to grief-stricken Glenbrook South High School students and parents, administrators say, quote, what is most important is that we care for and support each other, says Principal Dr. Barbara Georges. The GBS student services team is responding to the emotional needs of all students and staff by making student services personnel available. Counselors on hand today at the Glenview campus to help students and staff deal with the crushing loss. The 17-year-old Nikitic pronounced dead at the scene, Glenview police say, after Nikitic's Mercedes that he was driving was cut in half by the impact of the collision, investigators say, with a Ford Mustang just after 11 p.m. last night. You can see by the debris field here that uh, we had a lot going on. Glenview police and fire investigators are being aided by the North Regional Major Crimes Task Force. No word on the conditions of the two passengers who were rushed to Advocate Lutheran General Hospital last night. They were listed in critical condition. In Glenview, Julian Cruz, WGN News.